All right, so it's about 2.40 right now. Pack feels good, packed it really well. And for those of you guys that don't know, whenever you pack a super heavy pack, you wanna pack the heaviest stuff as close to your back as you can. That way it's not pulling you back like that. So that's the trick to either enjoying a hike or coming back super sore. Yeah, I told you, oh, I just ate it hard. <laughs> I got that on video though. I know you did. <laughs> My back is weighing me down. Oh. <laughs> okay, this is going nowhere. <laughs> this never happened. Okay, Alex, time to redeem yourself. Let's just do a walking shot this time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So I found this little pine tree. So you guys have seen me make pine needle tea. Technically, it's Douglas fir I use, but this is actual pine. So I'm gonna go ahead and stuff my pocket with it and then we'll make some pine needle tea on Mount St. Helens. You guys see that ski right there? Right on top of that little tree, guys. There he goes. Like a little ant. Say hey to the vlog! Ahoy! <laughs> <laughs> Back. Oh snap! <laughs> I just fell through by this bus. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Alright, we have arrived at our camp spot right here. It's really flat and we get a nice 360 panel. Look at that. <laughs> just getting cold. <laughs> Dang. Okay, I'm gonna set this up. You guys can watch us set up camp. Okay guys, so we ran out of tent pegs for the vestibule, so we're using our ice axe to hold it down instead. It works just as good. There you go. Perfect. Pretty windy. How strong would you say the winds are right now? 25 to 30, sometimes 40, but not bad. So Alex is indulging in his Lunchable. I got my source of sodium for the night. <laughs> We're gonna burn it all off tomorrow morning. We're gonna use the vestibule to cook. Okay, so the dangers of cooking in a tent, which we'll do right now, <laughs> is we're gonna start the propane and start it on fire, but what if the propane doesn't start on fire right away and there's propane in here? Oh, that'd be, dude. It's not gonna be bad though. Look, shouldn't be. You have that, I have, yo, yo, you're gonna burn the tent through. It's a bit better than lighter because usually wind lighter doesn't work. Hey, we're cold. Turn it off. Oh, it's straight up hot, bro. So Jeb Oil is in there doing its thing, boiling some water for us in the vestibule, and then Alex here showing off his meals. What should I eat? Beef stroganoff. Yeah. Even yeah. if you said bison and gravy, I still would listen yeah, to I you. Know. <laughs> okay. So me and Alex have set up everything we need to set up. We're just gonna chill for a little bit, and then we're gonna start cooking dinner. I'm gonna have teriyaki chicken and rice. And what are you gonna have? Um, beef stroganoff. Beef stroganoff. So for now we're just chilling, eating some snacks, kind of getting our feet warm in the sleeping bags. It's working really good. My feet are nice and toasty by now. Alex is eating his Lunchable. And yeah, life is good, guys. Yeah, okay, water is about boiled.
That's snowmobile. No, that's wind. Listen. Let's just pretend that's wind to make it more like, you know, cool. So guys, I was gonna show you this uh, little technique. You see my sock underneath the propane tank? That's there intentionally because if you put propane onto snow, it conducts really well to the metal. And once the propane gets super cold, it barely comes out. So right now we have a pretty decent fire in there. That's because the propane tank isn't too cold. So that's a little technique. So whenever you're using these things in the snow, make sure you put some kind of insulation underneath it. There's Alex out there right now. He's putting some snow under these holes so that snow doesn't fly into this vestibule thing from outside because it's pretty windy. We have a wind coming down the mountain. Um, yes, sir. And then we're gonna use this snow to melt to make more drinking water. Mmm, girl. What's her name? A beef drunk. <laughs> <laughs> so we got some hot chocolate and a nature valve bar. Very nice. Since we have nothing to do right now, um, I put on my ski boots and I'm gonna go ski right now in the nighttime. Nothing else to do, so yeah. Alright guys, it's about 25 minutes before sunrise, we have everything packed up, you ready? Oh yeah, let's kill it. So we're running a little bit low on water. We still have enough, but to spare it, uh, remember to stay hydrated, kids. This is the type of snow you're supposed to do, not crack. We are taking a break at 7,700 feet. That's the summit right up there. I have a whole trail mix I made. There's pretzels, bananas, M&Ms, almonds, peanuts, raisins, just a whole bunch of good stuff. So. I got some sprint, baby. I'm gonna finish strong. You ready? Yeah. Alrighty, let's go back. Yeah. <laughs> you just seen it 20 what, 21 times? I don't know, it's like over 15 or something like that. Oh my. Okay, um, so this crater right here, as we see from end to end, is one mile wide. Um, it used to be 1,200 feet above also. So when the mountain blew, it tsunami basically a, the biggest avalanche ever recorded in human history. Over those ridges over there, you'll see it kind of like it looks like a bridge. It literally tsunami like a wave over it. That's how much debris went over. And then to the left of that little bridge, you'll see Johnson Ridge Observatory. There's like a little black line with concrete above it. That's where it's about five miles from the base of the mountain. And yeah, and then right there on the tip of Spirit Lake, you can't really see because it's blocked by Windy Ridge, but there used to be a Timberline Lodge, like a Harry Truman Lodge. Um, obviously, it's under 200 feet of rubble. Uh, but yeah, and then the, the lake also has right now about two and a half, three feet long uh, trout because you're not allowed to fish there because it's like a preser preservation there. So yeah, there's big fish that no one know doesn't know about. And then there's Mount Rainier. How high is Mount Rainier? Uh, 14,411 feet. So we are basically like compared to Mount Rainier, we are like there. And then with Mount Adams, we are right at the base of that like shadow in the middle. Teardrop. That's like a teardrop shape. We're basically at the bottom of that. That's how high Mount Adams is compared to where we are guys. And then down to the south east we have a fire and that's like that right there is like Madras and like the desert, Oregon desert. We got Mount Hood of course. Some beautiful beautiful clouds over there. Um, Jefferson, three, three, Jefferson sisters. three sisters in the back. Yeah, uh, let's see what else do we have. What is that reflection? That's uh, Swift Lake. Swift Lake. 
There's Yale Lake, that's where me and Dan caught all of our kokanee, if you guys remember the kokanee fishing video. There's Portland, Vancouver, in that fog, kind of behind that fire. And then uh, we have Saddle Mountain, right there, those three peaks, that's Saddle Mountain, and about three miles behind that is the coast, the Oregon coast, Pacific Ocean. So, um, and then we could see north up until, yeah, there's the Olympic Mountains, guys, way Seattle's down there. Like right over there. Pretty crazy. All right, we're working our way down. No tracks here, just ski tracks down there, but the main trail's way down there. You guys could probably see people on the ridge, but I'm testing out these gators and it's working really nice. Also, the weather is insanely warm. I'm like basically in a short sleeve shirt. There's Mel Adams behind me. So there's this really cool thing I realized with going down mountains for a long time. So right here we have fresh powder and then here we have the path people go up. So watch this. I'm going to go walk on this path a little bit and watch how much my feet slide and just compare it to the powder. Now see it's like very difficult to, oh, oh that was bad. Just wiped out on my back. Hopefully my lens is okay. Well, that goes to prove a point. Man, I hope that thing's okay in there. But here's the powder compared to that. So you can go way faster. And it kind of stops your step. It's nice. <laughs> 